and I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel and today is your daily update on Lake Oroville and we're also going to talk about Lake Mead and Lake Powell as well and we have a lot to talk about. Some viewers wanted to know about the ground moisture in California so we're going to do that as well and if you think this is worthy of a like and a subscribe at the end of the video please consider doing that that would be greatly appreciated if you did if not no worries we're going to roll right out to the rain precipitation map over here in California and we're going to start up by Mount Shasta up here as we go to Mount Shasta itself and once again 0.24 not a whole lot in the last 72 hours and we go down here to the middle four of the Feather River in 3.44 in the last 72 hours. Over here by Bear River, you got 2.64. Some people were asking about Lake Tahoe. The precipitation that has fallen there in the last 72 hours has been 0.89. Carson City over here, 1.3. Yosemite National Park, 0.64 in the last 72 hours. Sacramento itself, 0.94, almost an inch. Roseville, 2.23. And you get the gist. We go down. People were asking about San Diego. So so we'll go down to San Diego and see what's going on there. 0.29. The Cleveland National Forest over here. You got 0.94. But there's a real pocket right here. They got 1.70. Over here in Los Angeles. It's been wet there. 0.58. And over here by Riverside, over here, 1.20. I got some viewers over in Bakersfield. Bakersfield received about 0.32 inches. And we scoot up here to the San Joaquin Valley, and it's wet. 0.83, over here, 1.10. And then we go to the coastal range over here, 3.21. So that's fantastic. We go over here to San Francisco. San Francisco received 0.66. So there you have it, and that is what what's going on there we go over to the San Juan mountains over here and you got 1.13 inches over here so that's good news over here we go over here by Grand Junction Grand Junction receives 0.1 Grand Junction's generally pretty dry the Grand Mesa National Forest over here just to the east of Grand Junction 1.20 and up above it 0 0.42 so not an impressive mount Denver's pretty dry and the front range mountains over here 0 0.82 so there you have it there's Ranger Park nothing down here one inch so there you have it that's what is going on for the last 72 hours let's go check the groundwater and see what is going on we will get to windy.com usually I start off with windy.com but today we're going to do that in the middle so off to the groundwater we are at the shallow groundwater draw indicator. You can see California, which was way in the red last year, has come way down compared to where it was. This is the shallow groundwater. This ain't the deep groundwater. And you can see the drought persist over here in the west, just like we talked about many, many times. So it's dry through here, but over here in the Midwest, it's really not as dry as it was. Florida's fairly dry and along the east coast and up through the Ohio River Valley, West Virginia, Pennsylvania and Virginia itself even in Maryland parts of Maryland are fairly dry as well Maine up here is dry there you have it that's what some people were asking for I hope this is what what you're wanting this is what we got this was taken December 27th which was yesterday 2021 so there is that and we are off to windy.com and see what is going on there as we roll over to windy.com you can see down here by we'll start down way in San Diego down here and see what is going on San Diego is going to get about 1.41 inches in the next three days and we are going to go to the five day nothing we go to the 10 day yeah 1.54 so most of it's coming in the next three days los angeles is going to be fairly wet over to the east los angeles 5.13 baker up here 0 0.8 we go to baker's field over here i got viewers over there hello over there one inch somebody asked me to go over by the mammoth lakes area 3.26 at mammoth lake and then over here this is 10 day forecast bear valley over here 5.84 inches that's crazy carson city 2.6 reno up here 2.13 we go over here by Folsom 4.59 San Francisco down here 2.8 Yuba City I have viewers out there 1.87 the middle Feather River Valley 4.87 and up here by Chester 5 inches of rain or probably snow more like it Mount Shasta let's hope this is real because they need a lot of rain over here 5.65 
and over here 5.85 so there's another system coming through and it's coming through between five and ten days now that's a long way out we'll see what happens let's go over to the colorados and see what's going on in the next five days and they continue to get a good swath of rain 3.43 steamboat springs up here 1.96 so this is fantastic news let's hope that it continues denver i know it's on the other side of the range but 0.3 the drought continues over there grand junction down here is supposed to get 1.8 and let's hope this is real deal and that's all i have for windy.com we will look at the snow depth real quick the snow depth looks pretty impressive especially in the sierra mountain range over here and chester down here has got 45 inches which is a lot of snow east quincy 52 inches that's over four feet and over here 63 inches so that is a lot we'll go up to mount chest and see what the current snow depth is and the current snow depth at mount chest is 44 inches it's fantastic so you will have a lot of precipitation coming but we definitely need a lot more especially there because it's way lower than the rest and let's go check out the water levels at lake orville lake shasta and lake powell and lake mead we are at california data exchange center and if there's a reservoir or a lake that you want that's in california the majority of them are on here so if i can't get to it i apologize i can't remember what everybody always asks for i do my best to remember somebody was asking about trinity storage capacities 2,447,650 is the capacity and it currently has 717,596 and the elevation is 2,219.68 elevation feet and it's 29% of capacity. Outflows are 315, inflows are 1,031. There you have it. I'm going down to Shasta which acre feet is 4,552,000 acre feet currently. Currently in the reservoirs 1,301,130. The elevation 910.72 feet. The outflows are 3,545 and the inflows are 9,584. We go to Orville. Lake Orville water level is 708.13 feet MSL and that's Tuesday, December 28, 2021 at 12 p.m. The level is 191.87 feet below full pool of 900 and the changes since yesterday's what i was interested in why i come over here is 1.39 so this thing continues to increase over and over every day we'll take what we can get with more rain coming this is fantastic news let's roll up to lake shasta and see how much it has increased there Lake Shasta water level is 911.10 feet. This was Tuesday, December 28, 2021 at 11 a.m. And the level is 155.90 feet below full pool of 1067. And the level changes since yesterday is 0 0.66 feet. Let's roll over to Lake Powell and see what is going on there. Lake Powell water level is 3,537.88 feet MSL. Monday, December 27, 2021 at 12 a.m. The level is 162.12 feet below full pool of 3,700. And doggone it, this thing is still on the decrease of 0.11 feet. Will it ever rise again? Let's hope. Down to Lake Mead we go. Lake Mead water level is 1,066.18 feet. Tuesday, December 28, 2021, 1 p.m. The level is 162.82 feet below full pool of 1,229. And this thing is on the rise of 0 0.05 feet. And there you have it. That's all I have for tonight. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Much appreciated. And we will see you tomorrow on Lake Orville's Daily Update.